can I add an air source to my hot tub if I've only got a single dual speed pump? Well, in this video, we're gonna take a look. Hey, I'm Andy from buildahottub.com. Thanks for visiting the channel. My channel focuses on building DIY hot tubs, plunge pools, air source heat pumps, and pretty much everything in between. Now, in this video, I'm gonna look at how we can add an air source heat pump to a hot tub that only has a single pump, and that single pump will be a dual speed pump. So before I get into the details, always a great opportunity to say, please do subscribe to the channel. I put my videos out twice a week. Hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. And of course, if you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Okay, so one of the things that certainly is a topic of, I guess, a keen interest at the moment is how we can keep the running costs of our hot tubs down. And if you have a hot tub that has just a single pump in the cabinet, it will be a dual speed pump. Now that dual speed pump will do both the circulation, but it will also do your jets as well. So on low speed, it will do the circulation and the heating. And generally when you switch on the high speed, it will then do your jets. Now the dual speed pumps are more common on a 13 amp system. So the more kind of deemed plug and play systems. However, we are able to actually add an air source heat pump to these. And in this video, obviously, we're gonna discuss exactly what we need to do. Now, the first thing to note is pretty much any air source heat pump will be compatible with your dual speed pump. However, on this channel, I like to recommend the comfort line range of air source heat pumps. They're really well priced and they have a great feature set as well. So you can check those out. I'll put a link to them underneath this video and you can get the pumps themselves as well as the connection kits in my online store. So when you're connecting an air source heat pump to your dual speed pump, the first thing that you want to do is find a suitable location to actually cut into the pipe. Now, ideally you want the air source heat pump after the heater on your system. So you will have the front of the pump is the suction. So the water is coming from the actual tub itself. Out of the side or the top is the, the discharge. And from there, it's gonna go into a filter, into your electrical heater, which we are gonna disconnect. And then after that is where you're looking to cut your pipes, ideally to then send the water through the air source heat pump for heating. Now, when we do this, I say that we're going to disconnect the electrical heater. It's really simple. Nine times out of 10, it's just a case of unplugging a Molex connection from the bottom of the heater. The Molex is one of those plastic connections that you push together either side, give it a little yank, and it will actually come out of that socket. And then you've disconnected your electrical heater. So we can start actually saving some money. Now, I prefer to actually power the air source heat pumps off their own supply. Now, there are many installers out there, I've certainly spoken to a few this week, that are more than happy to power them from the actual heater socket on the hot tub. However, personally, I prefer to have a dedicated supply for the air source heat pump. For that, you obviously want to consult a qualified electrician. Uh, you're looking for a 13 amp feed and you're looking for that to be hardwired in. So you're generally not gonna be using a plug. If you're going for one of the smaller air source heat pumps, some of them do come with plugs. And of course you can just plug those into a regular socket. Most of the larger air source heat pumps are hardwired because of the current draw. So please do consult a qualified electrician about putting those in place. Once we've identified the perfect position to actually cut the pipes, the next thing we need to do is connect the pipe work up to the air source heat pump. And when we do this, we're actually gonna put in a bypass system and that looks something like this. Now, if your air source heat pump is in line after your heater, you're gonna go heater and then the first pipe that you're gonna go into is the cold input on the air source and then you're gonna come out of the hot output on the air source back into your plumbing. 
However, as you can see, we are gonna put in the bypass and the bypass is kind of key. Now with our dual speed pumps, there is a, I'm not gonna call it a trick, there's a very cool piece of kit, which is a one-way flapper valve. And that looks something like this. Now you might not be able to see on the video itself, but inside we've got a spring-loaded valve that I can open and, and close with my finger here when I push on it. Now this is the key element if you have a dual speed pump. The reason being is when you're not on high speed, this flapper valve inside here will actually be closed. And what that means is all of the water will then be forced through the air source heat pump so you'll have maximum efficiency for actually heating. Now when you turn on the high speed, you don't want everything, and when I say everything, you don't want all of the flow going through the air source heat pump. The reason being is there'll be too much pressure in the air source heat pump, but also you would actually get reduced flow on your jets. And the reason that being, because you've added pipe work, you've added some distance, you've added bends, you've added an air source heat pump, and all of this adds to what we call the total dynamic head of the system. It's basically friction. And that friction of the water in the pipes and the fittings reduces the flow on the jets. With this little key piece of plumbing, the valve opens, it relieves the pressure on the air source heat pump, and it allows the water to pass through on high speed so that we're not getting very much, if any, noticeable reduction in the power on the jets. So what's different then with a dual speed pump setup and a dedicated circulation pump? Well, it's really this piece of kit. You'll have seen in some of my previous videos and the material that I have on the website that with a regular circulation pump setup, we'd actually have three gate valves instead of two gate valves and a one-way valve that we use on the dual speed setups. That's really the only difference. And the reason that we have that is so on the high speed, this valve will open, reducing the pressure on the system, allowing more flow to the jets and everyone is happy. We don't need this on a circulation pump setup because the circulation pump will be a lower speed and a lower pressure anyway. So there won't be the scenario with a circulation pump, certainly a dedicated circulation pump, where this valve would need to open. And for that reason, we just put a gate valve in there instead. So in conclusion, yes, it is totally possible to fit an air source heat pump to a hot tub that has a single pump, which is dual speed. We can do it with a bypass system and one of these fantastic one-way check valves. Very simple to do, really efficient, and it will help reduce your running costs massively. Now, if I can help you with the supply of an air source heat pump and a connection kit, please do get in touch. I've loads of them on my website. I'll put the links underneath this video. And of course, if you've got any questions, hit me up in the comments as always. I appreciate the view. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.